Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am showing you an infill on a client that is always on my channel. Every set that I do on her, I'm pretty sure, is on here. Um, the one that I'm just removing is, I think, from a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just removing the previous design at the moment to make... I'm really sorry, but I'm just being trodden on by my dog at the moment. She's walking all over me like I'm some sort of climbing frame, as usual. Um, so I'm just using my purple willow bit from Willow Academy to remove the previous design and a bit of the bulk of the, the builder gel just because it's a coloured one and I like to file it thin every time just to obviously be able to see through and make sure everything's okay underneath and I don't see any lifting and stuff so I'm just removing that now and then once I've done that I can go in with the next step um, so yeah I don't really have anything to talk to you about at this moment of time just removing everything that I need to any lifting or anything like that obviously has to come off because you don't want to sort of encapsulate lifting that's never going to end well um so yeah once i've done this i'll then go in with prep um, with some different e-file bits and i will talk through that when it comes to it So as you can see, this client has unfortunately broken the corner of one of her nails. Um, these things happen. Like it's one of those things. You still have to live. You can't get mad at clients for breaking nails. I don't know why people do. I honestly don't understand it. Whenever one of my clients comes in and says, oh my God, you're going to kill me. Look what I've done. I'm like, okay. Um, in the nicest way possible, it actually doesn't affect me if you break a nail. <laughs> They're your nails. So, you know, if you can get over it, I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm going in with my Anastasia bit here just to file around the cuticle area, make sure that there isn't any skin on the nail plate that's going to create any lifting or anything, just making sure to get rid of it all if there is. Um, and this, in the same sort of way, will also push back the cuticles as well. And then going in with the sanding band. This is just a 240 grit from, I think these are the teamy ones actually, these blue ones. So I'm just going in with that on my mandrel bit now to make sure I remove all of the um surface shine basically we're just making sure that it's all nice and even um and rough ready for application so i'm just doing that now just etching don't go over the same place a million times not necessary um and don't have your e-file on too many rpms i literally just have it on like 5000 just nice and slow it's just enough to create a rough surface that's all we need it for um and yeah, like I said, smooth it out as well at the same time. Like once it's all smooth, the application will be so much easier to get smooth when the base is as well. And then once I've done this, I will go in with my hand file because we did change the shape of the nails this time. I think I squared them off um, just because her nails were actually coughing before she started again with her growth journey, basically, because she broke quite a few all in one go. Um, so we started afresh and had them all short, but... We're finally at the part now where we can actually shape them to whatever she wants. So we did go for cough, well not coffin, it's more like a square, but it was a bit tapered just because they started off round. I did actually start off about to round them off and then said, oh, what shape do you want? <laughs> um, as you can see here, and then I started going sideways and actually creating the shape that we we're going to do. So uh, doing that now. Obviously they're not a proper coffin or square because they, they are still a smidge too short and we need them to grow out a bit more because they've been rounded all this time as well. Um, I'm just taking the sides in a little bit and straighten off the free edge. And then once I've done that, I will nip off any excess skin on the cuticle area. The, just the dead skin that you can clearly see is all I remove. Um, I don't think I did it on camera because it's a bit of a faff to get my, clip, my nippers underneath my camera without wobbling my phone and stuff every two seconds. So I do tend to do that off camera just because it's easier for me. Um, obviously, it's not really a part of the process that I want to muck up because if I do, she's going to bleed and that's going to cause more issues than it's worth and obviously we don't want to do that anyway for obvious reasons um so anyway yeah once i've finished filing all of the nails into shape i will then nip off the excess cuticle and then we can go in with application of gel and i don't think i did nip on camera so application is now yep so i'm just first going in with dehydrator um, i didn't always use dehydrator to be honest with you um nail order doesn't actually require it that's why they don't sell one but 
um, model ones, I think, were the ones that sent me one. Yeah, model ones sent me a dehydrator and primer. So I used their dehydrator and then nail orders primer. Um, it's not going to be a bad thing to dehydrate, so it's fine. It's just an extra step, I suppose. But because I've got one, I just feel like I should use it. So I'm just going in now with... Um, oh, what's this one called? This is Divine from Nail Order, that Angel Wilder collection. Um, it's a beautiful colour. It's a lovely, lovely pale pink. I'm just putting a really thin coat over all of the nails and capping the free edge at the same time as well. And then once I've done that on this hand, I will pop this hand in the lamp for a full cure. And then... I will obviously paint this onto the other hand and then pop that one in for a full cure and then carry on with this hand. This Builder Gel is just brilliant. Like the retention is brilliant. The colours are lovely. And I just really love application of it. Like it's so, so easy to use. My Builder Gel appointments since I've been using this Builder have been so much quicker. Um, absolutely amazing because it just doesn't really need a lot of refining at all. It's really strange because when I used Glitter Bell's black bottles very briefly, I... I think I can, they're probably the, the builder jar that I've used out of all of them that this is the most like out of all the ones I've used basically like the, the, the texture of this one and the consistency is probably most like them um, but the difference with this one is it doesn't run everywhere so I found with the black bottle glitter bells builders I was having to do one nail at a time because if I left it for any longer than that it literally just run everywhere like even Obviously, I expect that when I do get a little bit of builder gel on the skin, you just expect it to run there because it's where gel is, gel goes, basically, is obviously the saying, like the rule that we all know. But this one, even if I got it on the skin and then wiped it away and then did a bigger bead, it wouldn't float there. Like, it's it's really, it's really strange, to be honest, because you just assume that a thinner one would run more, but this one just doesn't, and I love that. So it's really easy to use, as you can see. Super easy to place on the nail and move around, but doesn't actually move around onto the skin itself it does self-level naturally just doesn't actually run onto the skin it's really confusing i don't really understand how it works but i'm really glad it does because it's, it's a lovely product to work with um here i'm just going in with a glitter mix i can't remember what i used to create it to be honest there's quite a few different glitters in it i've been doing that a lot lately with loose glitters um but i did mix a few together just some mainly pale pinks and um like iridescent -y sort of ones that you can like see through those sorts so i'm doing that on the i'm doing i'm actually doing all of these nails different on both hands um just to mix it up a little bit so we're doing obviously as you can see here a full nail on this one just the top corner of the pinky um and then the middle nail i think we did the yeah, the, like this S shape. It's not an S because it's the complete opposite way, but diagonal down the centre is what I was supposed to say. Um, and yeah, basically every nail was different. And then all I did off camera in this video was the stamping because I've done stamping quite a lot on my channel over time. And, and the main reason is I forgot to press play when I was doing it, to be honest, but I don't think it mattered in the end because I've got lots on my channel already. So if you want to see any, obviously go and look for those specific videos. The one before this, or the one before that, I'm pretty sure is a... I'm pretty sure it's the one before this one going up actually is a stamping video. So that's one to watch if you want to see that bit. But once I've done this, I did go in... I did go in with a... Uh, I just had to stop for a quick cough before I started choking on camera. And now I can't remember what the hell I was talking about. Oh yeah, after this step, I did go in with an ombre brush. Just to blend out all of the gel. I didn't actually know I was going to do that until it came to literally doing it um i didn't have a clue what i was doing at all to be honest this client just gives me free reign usually and I, I never really know what i'm doing until i literally have to do it so i decide what design she's having when it comes to putting some color on and i sort of have to um so i did go in the ombre brush at this point and just blend out all the, sh the harsh lines i was going to leave them as lines and then outline them um but i always think that plain color looks better outlined with glitter instead of glitter outlined with plain color so that is why I decided to go in with my ombre brush. And I'm just blending them all out, apart from the ring finger, obviously. Uh, off camera as well, just to be annoying. And then I will stamp a couple of images over a couple of the nails and then top coat. And that was it for this set. So there's not long left of the video. I will let you watch it in peace. Um, it's all just top coating now anyway, so you can see all the stamping that I've done through that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.